Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Long Dark Tales from the Far Territory. And we are now part of the Signal Void. We finally opened that portion of it, as you can see. We've got light again. It was a little dark over there, that's why I turned this on. And I had been, for quite some time, trapped here due to a blizzard of epic proportions and haven't been able to leave. <laughs> I mean, it's been really nasty. But I did take a look outside and I think it's clearing up. Finally. Finally. Let me go ahead and wait a minute. Distinguish this. Let's see if things are still better outside. Yeah, it's early, early morning, and you can see the aurora. This time it's not that mysterious glimmer fog. We can see what we're doing, believe it or not. Let's go ahead and put this away. Yeah, this would be the time to do some exploration, guys. The only problem is... We have to be super, super careful because the wolves and the bears and all other wildlife kind of go a little nuts during these events. And they become a heck of a lot more aggressive. So, this is the first time I've seen the airfield in a while. I have been trapped in there for quite some time. Even to the point where my food levels are starting to get a little scary. <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to... I need to start doing some surveying here so I can figure out where I'm going to go next. There's got to be a road out of here. Or to somewhere else, if nothing else. Yeah, I couldn't see squat. I mean, nothing for the longest time. Now, I think that I'm headed south. I, it's kind of hard to tell. But it is actually kind of helpful seeing these lights. I mean, before, I was having to use them as a guide to even keep from getting lost. Let's see. Yeah, I've checked that. Yeah, I've been all around the basic field itself. Checked everything that I could check. But I don't know what's beyond it. I have no idea. I want to try to get down here and do some more of that surveying so that I can... I've got plenty of charcoal. Okay, so we've got a runway going this direction now. Okay, is that a structure? Or is that the... Okay, that's the... I have been there. That's the... Uh, that trailer that I stayed in. Yeah, this is actually going to take me into uncharted territory. And I don't know where we go from here, honestly. I know we're supposed to get some of the transmitters up and running and we're supposed to find bunkers. Now the 
blue thing that we saw on our handheld device. Let's see, where is that? We're not picking up anything. But I, I don't know if we'll pick up anything here or not. I'm going to keep it out for a minute just in case. Oh, there went the lights. I think the aurora is over. Well, we still got. We're still getting this. Alright, let me do this again just to make sure that I'm. Okay, I think we're coming to the end of the road here. Yeah, the sun's coming up, and I'm betting. I don't see any kind of civilization. But at least the weather's not changing. That's good. Let me get up here on this rise. Maybe I can get some kind of perspective of where I am or if there's anything structure wise that we can head towards ah so we have some kind of a river that's actually very good because that means we can follow that hmm and we might even be able to ice fish I wonder if there's any ice fishing shacks in this area that could be good yeah cuz I've been basically living off whatever I can find and it hasn't been much okay there's something over there though guys it might be a wreck yeah I think it's a plane what I wonder what this is here I mean I know it's a waterway but it's a little bit wider here like a reservoir Cattail plant. <laughs> well, that's good. We can get some extra food if we need it. Why am I so cold? Did I take my clothes off again? <laughs> Let me see here. Hold on. No, I should be well. I should be warm enough. Well. It's apparently very, very cold. Maybe it's because I went out in the morning. Well, let's see what the what's going on with this wreckage over here. Shoulder Lake. Okay, so we now have an area. Ooh, this is big. Big, 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 big. Yeah, I am just literally freezing for some reason. Uh, well, I don't know. It's like it's it's almost looking like it's going... No, it's going down. I thought for a minute maybe it was going up. Okay, we got a plane down. Oh, we got a body. Charcoal. <laughs> like I needed that. We got a metal container here. Energy bar. Got a hatch with nothing in it. Okay, we're still cold. God, I don't understand why we're so cold. And right, we got a flare up in the front of the plane. Alright. I think that's all we got. And there should be another. 
hatch over here that we can examine. Uh, some metal scraps. We got some plane parts. Alright, now I gotta figure out which direction I am here. I'm kinda. Okay, the airport's over that way. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. So I need to go this way. Yeah, it looks like that plane was trying to get to the airport but didn't quite make it. I don't see any huts or anything that we can use to go fishing. Let me check something here. Uh, we got... Okay, we don't have our axe. Wait a minute, yeah. We can check it out. We can do some ice fishing, guys. I knew they added that, but if it wasn't so daggone cold, well, that could be extremely useful. But I think what we need to do is we need to get out of this cold a little bit, just for a while, at least enough to warm up. Okay, there's, I don't know if those are rocks, just rocks over there. Kind of hoping to find a cave. That would be nice. And I think that might be one over here. I, there's something grabbing my attention here, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but I do. And I could be dead wrong, it could be just some kind of a rock, but it really does look like something. No, it's just a rock. Rabbit Grove. Okay, well. Ah, man, my eyes are good, aren't they? Here we go. We got us a cave. And there's a f campfire in, in the cave. That's perfect. Let's start us a fire here. Uh, oh gosh, we have no fuel. <laughs> okay. Here's another hatchet. Wilderness kitchen. Ah, oh boy. Didn't know I'd get cold, so cold so fast. What is the deal? I mean, it's like... My... There's some rose hips. And we're gonna have to get some wood now. We're gonna have to get some fast. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't believe. How did I get so cold so fast? Okay, okay, okay. This is getting. Yet again ugly, but at least we can see. Keep. Got it. I gotta keep. I know. Hypothermia risk. We gotta get wood, though. How can I be this cold when I'm wearing this much stuff? Okay, here we go. Okay. 
we got to get back to the cave and warm up now. Yeah, but I couldn't believe it. There was. Ah, uh, we can start it. We don't have an accelerant, but this will help. I've been pushing it. I tell you, I don't know what happened with the cold. I don't know how I got so cold. It does not really. I just have to get warm enough to go out and get more wood. <laughs> That's all I have to do. I can get food. I'll shoot one of those bunnies. That's what I'll do. Come on. Get the fire going. There we go. Alright. That should start getting things warmer in here. And it is. Well, if I had known... Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and make... Can I make herbal tea? No. Yeah, I didn't bring anything with me. I mean, nothing. Well, let's leave it there for a second. Let's get warm first, guys. I'll go out and get some of those rose hips. And that should get me warm. I'm going to go ahead and drink something that I do have. I've got water, obviously. Ugh, sometimes my Indiana Jonesing just gets the better of me. Okay, but now at least we've got something to drink. I think... Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand this at all. I have long underwear. All my stuff is fixed. I've got a baklava. I've got aviator cap. Which is supposed... Is it just that daggone cold? Flight jacket and ski jacket sweatshirt, a hockey jersey, <laughs> all this stuff, and I still get cold. It does not make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I've got a warmth bonus of plus 17 degrees Celsius. Windproof bonus of plus 6 degrees Celsius. I guess it's just so open out here with the wind. just have to sit here guys I'm gonna have to sit here for just long enough to get warm and I'll bring you back once things get a little bit better alright guys I came up here to get some more wood and there is a bear down the ice we are going to need to be very 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 careful because I have already understood that unless you hit the bear exactly right and you probably have to hit him more than once he's gonna come after you and that my friends would not be good <laughs> getting mauled by a bear is not a good plan I'm hoping that this isn't his his cave <laughs> but I did manage to get some cattails also so that should help things a little bit yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and check the water situation that I put over here that should get me fully hydrated we're gonna add more fuel get ourselves warmed up all the way before we trek out there again actually I'm, no I've got plenty of water but I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up
Might as well add the fuel. Right, we're gonna need to warm up anyway, so I'm gonna crouch. And I think I might read my wilderness kitchen book. <laughs> Just to pass the time. Well, let me go ahead and do that. We'll improve our cooking skills. Let's research for two hours. That should get us warm enough to wear. Ah, we are fully warm. That was the goal. Yeah, I don't think I really want to hang around here too long. Because like I just said earlier, this actually could be his cave. <laughs> I don't know that it is. I mean, there was a campfire in here, so somebody was in here at one point, but... It looks like he's gone way over there, and he can stay way over there, for all I care. And it looks like... I'm not really sure what's to the north or to the south. Gosh, I think there's... Yeah, he's way over there. He's fa he's good distance. I'm gonna grab some of these cattails. Yeah, you can eat these, so... Yeah, I've seen pictures of that particular wreckage that we explored earlier. Let's see here. Let's see if we can't get as much of this surveyed as we can so that we can find our way around here and see if there's anything that we can explore or find that's new. I'm just keeping an eye on where that bear is. I hear wolves somewhere, but I can't really determine where the sound's coming from yet. If it starts to get louder, then we'll go the other way. <laughs> I'm going to grab a little more wood just in case. Probably a good idea. What in... Where the hell did he come from? Ah! He just came out of nowhere. Bastard. Where did he come from? I was like, I, I heard one off in the distance. And he probably damaged my clothes. I don't look like I've gotten any injuries, but... Let's see, my... Yeah, my jacket got a little bit of damage. Probably my gloves. Yep, 89%. Pants got a little bit of damage. Shoes, socks. But other than that... Oh, that creep. Yeah, he came out of nowhere. He flew by there, and I didn't even have time to pull my rifle. Seriously, seriously was aggressive. See, that's that, see that blue over there? I, I guess it's just snow, but it sure looked like something. Like another river or something. What is that over there? Ooh, it's a deer. Let's harvest these rose hips. Yeah, 
Yep, we have us a deer. Really? Perfect shot. Awesome. Yeah, I think we have some kind of a possible cave or something over here too. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm hearing a Yeah, let's use the hunting knife. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of meat. Yeah, we'll grab the hide and the gut. May have to come back and get the rest of it. There's the waterfall. Yeah, we don't get too overloaded. Take one quick look over here, and I think we're going to have to head on back, because we've got to get back. Plus, we're carrying meat. Just wanted to see if there's possibly a cave over here. This actually could be a really good spot to ice fish, too. Yeah. Doesn't look like you can get to anything, but... We'll survey it. It's not popping up on the thing, but... Yeah, it's when we're out on the open lake, guys, that we're really getting cold. It's that wind. That wind is brutal. And I'm not thinking that there's a whole lot up here that's going to help us. I mean, there could be, but we just don't have time to really go looking at the moment. Alright guys, I am back. The only reason I brought you back is we are back down to the lake, and I'm going to go ahead and survey the outer skirts of this part of the lake as well just to kinda get an idea where we are this is a big lake I was a little concerned at first because it looked like we had obviously animals over here but they're not wolves they're deer so we're alright the bear is still out there he's way over there so that's another reason we're staying on this edge of shoulder lake I don't know if he's hunting those or what, but he is, he's hanging out. I also see something over there too, and I don't know what that is either. Could be just a rock. Ooh, there's a big old elk. 
Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, we don't have time to get him, but I am going to do this. Can we? Let's see. Let me see. Can we mark things? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we have the cave over here. Now this it's not showing that deer that I killed. Well, that sucks. Well, I know he's over here somewhere. Like I said, we're just hanging around over here. Now the bull, or not, wait a minute, yeah, bull elk. He would be a bull. Um, you don't want to tick one off. <laughs> Especially when he's protecting his harem. The best thing to do is just to leave them alone right now. Yeah, that's just a rock. I was trying to see if that was yet another cave. Actually, it is. It is another cave. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's. I know it's going to take a minute to get over there, but honestly, I like the market so that we know where it is. I am so glad that the developers placed enough caves so that if we really need them, they're available. <laughs> and I do need them. I knew I saw a cave. Let's see. Hopefully there's no bears. Now this is just a little bitty enclosure, so there's nothing here I don't think to find, but... Oh yeah, there is. Ooh, I think that's our pilot. Mm. New thermal underwear and a worn t-shirt. We'll take those. And it looks like he... I found a survival bowl. How nice is that? Now I can make some arrows. Let's leave the campfire here. We might need that. Let's go ahead and mark this so we know where it is. Perfect. That's two caves. So if we want to come up here and explore, grab the coal. If we want to come up here and explore, we can do so. And we have a place to hunt. We have a place to fish. What we really need is a sleeping bag. But I'm going to have to eventually go back to that railroad station where I left mine because I was adult <laughs> and we'll fix that situation keep marking alright we are getting as much of this surveyed as we possibly can we will call this the Survey of Shoulder Lake. Yeah, sometimes as I'm going through my videos, I like to come up with titles <laughs> so that I kind of have an idea of what I want to say. Okay, what is that in the distance? I don't think it's anything, but... At first it looked like it was moving, but it's not. It's just kind of shimmering. Yeah, this is a big lake. But there's, other than caves, there's not really a whole lot. Yeah, we'd have to explore beyond... Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a cabin. There is a cabin and there are stairs. Oh, how cool is that? 
this title might be changing. Yep, I think the title is going to be changing. We found a ca we found a cabin. We found a cabin. How cool is that? Okay. Survey it again. Yes. That's why we go on the outskirts of the lake in order to find this is a fisherman's cabin apparently. Yes, we have goodies. Well, worn wool socks. That's not going to help us much. We've already got that. Looks like we got a net. Some kind of buoy things. Floaty things. How do I get on this stupid thing? <laughs> How do I get on the darn dock? That gun it? Okay, let's see here. Over here, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that the ca the cabin is closer than getting all the way over to the hangar. Oh, how cool is this? How cool is this? We've got a little cave-like thing to get up there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's do another survey just to make sure that we have everything. Yes, so we have the plastic container. There may not be anything else up here, but there is a cabin. And in a cabin, there may be cool things. In fact, I'm suspecting that that's exactly what's going to be in here. Yes, 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 yes. I think this is also on a picture, too. This particular cabin. I wonder what this cabin is. Island Cottage. I wonder if it's got a place to set a fire. Yes, it does. We have a pot belly stove. My problem is we don't have any pots with us. So that's not good. But there is a bed. And maybe there's a pot in here. Who knows? There's stored water. We're good there. We got peanut butter. Oh man. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. And I was smart enough to bring wood with me. Rifle ammunition. Nice. That we could use, without a doubt. We got plenty of things to cut up to to burn. We just don't have a pot. I don't think. We do have our air freshener. Now we got to keep everything nice and smelling good. Oh, I was afraid that. I thought for a minute that might wrap it raw. We've got food. All right, we can go ahead and search this, guys. I was a little worried about being too overloaded, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. We can leave a few things here if we need to. We'll just take all that because I have a feeling we're going to need it. Peanut butter. Peanut butter is always good. We got fuel. Polaroid. An old Polaroid photo. There is text scribbled on the back, but details of a, on a Great Bear Island Vista location. Bleak, desolate, sublime. A memory I smudged. Well, that's useless. Hmm. Well, that is obviously a picture of the Aurora. We'll take it. Ah. That's the Vista. Well, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. There's a pillow, there's a cloth, another book, oh he liked hockey, whoever lived here. Let's see, I guess they just peed outside, you know, nobody seems to have a bathroom around these places. <laughs> 
Fishing tackle. Very nice. Potatoes. Oh, we've got food here, guys. No, we're not going to break that down. Tennis sardines. We are going to be fine. We are going to be fine. Well, let, let's go ahead and heat this thing up because I think we're going to stay here for the night, if nothing else. Because yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. Yeah, that was kind of that was a fun adventure. Got a little got a little hairy. Got a little bit hairy, literally hairy. <laughs> a darn wolf, but we made it. We 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 should have actually stuff to fix it for the most part. All right, we're gonna add fuel to the fire. I'll just add the coal. We got plenty of sticks. Alright. I am going to go ahead and survey it one more time just to make sure that I've gotten all of it. Looks like we've got some wood cedar limbs over there, so that could be useful. It's not dark in here. Here's another survival bow. We'll take that. And check it out. Arrows. That means we can go after those darn bunny rabbits. That is so cool. Let's see. All the drawers are empty. How heavy overloaded am I? Not real bad, surprisingly. I mean, I, I expected a lot worse. Let's break down that cloth. Let's see, nothing in the garbage. The garbage can doesn't. Nothing in there. Tender plug, we got plenty of those. Beef jerky! Rancid raw rabbit. <laughs> reason I'm taking the breaking down the cloth is to fix what clothes the Dagon wolves damaged. I'm going to look under here and make sure there's nothing I missed. Oh, that's just the lag. First I thought, oh yeah, there's something under there. Ooh, okay, there is a loft, I think. Yeah, there is a loft. My problem is I don't see how you get there's that's a ladder, but I can't maybe I have to cut that down. Well, I can't seem to climb that, so I can't get up there. breaking it down to see if there's something up there that I can use. Now I can't jump to see and I can't climb it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and turn on our lamp lantern here. And get a better look around now that we can we'll grab these books. Yeah, I really want to check this place good because there could be recipes. And there's already potatoes, so we've got food. I'm going to leave the potatoes where they are, because honestly they're not hurting anything where they are. There's a summit soda, newsprint row, first aid kit. See, I didn't see that earlier. 
painkillers, salty crackers, whoa, not sure what happened there. <laughs> Break that down. See, I've got two axes now, so I've actually I got one back at the hangar too. So I really need to find some another whetstone. I cannot believe there's no pots here. That just blows my mind. This would actually be a not a bad place to stay. I'm just not entirely convinced there's nothing up there. Just, I don't know why I can't climb this. It's stupid. Alright, well... Let's see what we can... Can we cook anything? Yep, we can cook the venison. So that's something. We might as well cook it too, because we don't want to carry it if we can keep from it. 56 minutes until ready, alright. go ahead and whoops drink something try and decide let me let me extinguish this I'm just taking a quick look around here just to see I hear ptarmigan they did say they added ptarmigan to this okay there's some cloth and a hacksaw <laughs> go figure that yeah there's a few things that I could break down but there are wolves out here so I'm not going to stay out here for very long It looks like there's a front porch, too. Let's go check that out. Could be something on the front porch, but no. It's a nice view, though. Yeah, if the aurora were going off, we could probably see the airport from here. It's a nice view. All right. I think I've seen everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right here for now. I am going to fix some of my clothes is what I'm going to do to pass the time. Let's see how much time I've got left on that. Oh, I got time. All right, let's fix the clothes here. All right, we've got that's still a hundred percent. Eh, my aviator cap took some damage. Dang on it. Let's see, what took the worst damage? Actually, my gloves. So we'll repair those. back to 100%. We'll repair our pants. Wait a minute, let me check it again. Okay. One minute. Boy, they are pushing it, aren't they? Okay. Let's eat some cooked fresh venison. Yum. I 
And we ate it. We ate every bit of it. Okay, let's place another venison on there. Twenty nine minutes until ready. I was gonna say we might as well cook all the meat we have. I don't know if we can eat that rabbit or not. Truth be known, I think I might get rid of it. I don't know. How much fuel do we have? Uh, I wish we had more, but I don't know that we have... Let me put it away for right now. I have a little bit of light, so I should be able to make repairs. I think we're good. All right, we are full. Now I would make I would make something else to drink, but I don't think we can do it without we don't have a place to cut up the rose hips, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take a nap here, guys. Let's go ahead and sleep. I'm gonna sleep about nine hours just to make sure. Gosh, I hope it doesn't storm in the morning. <laughs> All right, it is daytime. It's light. Fire is out. We still have fuel on our whatever thing. And we have reduced our weight considerably. I think we've... Now we can see what we could drop off here, honestly. There's plenty of stuff here. Plenty of storage. Telecarlograms there. 15 there. I'm just trying to find a good place to store. Yeah, you can't store much in those small things. Sorry guys, I was having a little bit of trouble with my mouse. When my mouse starts running out of power, it's it doesn't react as well. So I had to do something about that. Uh, let's take a quick look outside. Hopefully it's... Oh god. It's foggy. <laughs> no. Not good. Foggy is not good. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good at all. So now we can't see the animals, and... I'm sure we could... S let's, let's, let's sleep a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. And see if the fog disappears. Okay. Ah, terrific. <laughs> it seems like I'm always dealing with this weather. Mm. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to drop off a few of the things that we don't necessarily need to take with us.